Hello, my name is Benjamin Lee, and I will be analyzing an act of vengeance by Isabel Allende. The story was initially written by Isabel, but it has been translated by a man named E.D. Carter Jr., and it starts on page 40 in Literature and its Writers. I will first begin with a short summary of the story. The short story begins with a young and beautiful woman named Dulce Orellana. She has just been crowned as the Carnival Queen of Santa Teresa, but many people believe that she has won the crown because she is the daughter of a senator, Anselmo Orellano. In the competition, there are many more beautiful women aside from Dulce, but Dulce is able to win the competition due to her ability to dance elegantly. She dances with such grace that men put aside her average looks and determine her beauty by the way she dances. These rumors about her beauty spread and eventually reach a man by the name of Tadio Cespid. Cespid is a warlord and wishes to meet this Dulce that everybody is raving about. With 120 men, he attacks Santa Teresa, breaking the windows of buildings, burning trees, and destroying the church. Senator Orlano defends his daughter by locking her in the farthest room of the patio, where he hopes Tadio does not find her. At the same time, he wishes that he had a son to stand by his side and fight with them, but he does not have one. He tells the last remaining men that if Tadio does succeed, that the last one take the key and go up to Dulce and carry out his remaining duty. Orlando does not want Tadio to win and would rather see his daughter dead than in the hands of another man because he knows what will happen if Tadio does obtain her. However, all of Orlando's men die, thus leaving Orlando to follow out his own duty he had set out. With a gunshot to his chest, Orlando drags himself upstairs to kill his daughter. He begins to load his pistol when Dulce begs him to stop. She states that she would that she would avenge both their deaths. Um, seeing the death, seeing the courage in his daughter's eyes, Orlando puts down his gun. Afterwards, Orlando dies, and Tadio claims possession of Dulce, stating, "This woman is mine." She is then brutally raped by Tadio. The next morning, Dulce finds the remains of her father who has been dragged by horses across the countryside. She is able to recognize him and bury him. The people of Santa Teresa suggest that she leave and start a new life somewhere else. She declines, hoping hoping to soon get revenge on, for her father and for herself. Now, 30 years have passed, and Dulce remembers the night she was, still, she was raped. She now tends to the livestock and cultivates the land. Over the years, Men of all types have tried marrying her, some rich, some famous, but Dulce has rejected them all. She has remained single, and over the years, her hate for Tadio has grown significantly. Tadio too, has remembered the night he raped Dulce 30 years ago. Though he, though he was intoxicated, he still remembers what had happened. Now 30 years have passed, he has lost his fighting attitude and has become a mayor of a city instead. Still, he is haunted by what has happened. He cannot expel the face of Dulce from his mind and sets off for one last expedition to find Dulce. This expedition leads into the house where he first met Dulce, the house of Orlano. There he finds Dulce and both confront each other. Tadio admits in a shameful manner that, she, that he was the only one he loved. He falls to his knees and cries into her hands. Though Dulce has built hatred for Tito for 30 years now, she cannot find the strength to kill him. She looks into the look, she looks into his eyes, and she cannot detect any remnants of the murder that took her father. Deep down, all the hatred Dulce has developed has now turned into love. The two plan to get married, and Tadio decides to use all his money on the on the wedding in hopes to compensate for all the pain he has caused for Dulce. However, two days before the wedding, Dulce puts on a wedding dress, and she has a flashback of what, of when she was a carnival queen, carnival queen of Santa Teresa. She then decides that she would be unable to fill her father's oath, and instead commit suicide in the room that she was raped in. Tadio discovers Dulce's body, just like he did 30 years ago, and knows that he must suffer for his actions that he has committed. The theme of the story is female empowerment. In the short story, Dulce, Dulce's main goal is to obtain vengeance. However, this is not her goal, but rather her father's. Then when she realizes that the person she wishes to kill loves her and wants marriage, 
it is again not her goal. Throughout the story, Dulce has been under control by males in a male dominant society. Before Orlando dies, he wishes he had a son to stand by his side. This quote tells all that the males were seen as more important during this time period. When Dulce is stuck in between two male expectations, which is to kill her father, or which is to kill the murderer of her father, or to marry the man she is deeply in love with, Dulce cannot choose. She wishes to marry Tadio, but she is also haunted by her father's ghost. In the end, she winds up committing suicide and not fulfilling either man's goals. She does, however, lead Tadio to live in a life of misery. There is major irony in the story, and, also, and it also can be seen as the climax. No one could have ever suspected that Dulce to have feelings for Tadio after what had just occurred. He has murdered his fa he has mur her murdered his fa her father, and also raped her when she was just fifteen. However, she feels love for him that she can she cannot ignore. There is also major symbolism in the story. The Organdi Organdi dress that Dulce is seen wearing can be symbolized as death. On the night Organd Orlando dies, Dulce was seen wearing this Organdi dress. Then thirty years later, before the marriage, Dulce commits suicide and once again is wearing this Oregondi dress. This was my analysis of Act of Vengeance by Isabel Allende. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day. Thank you.